Welcome back to the Flow Wall 4 program. In this video, we'll be focusing on the third mimic in a series of 15 titled Intersection Lines. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to the top and we're going to select Use a Mimic. And the Intersection Lights is up here on the top. We're going to go ahead and select on that. What we have here is an ordinary street intersection light. Um, if we go ahead and click on the show button, it displays all six of the controls which correspond to the outputs here on the right pane. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna hide that. Now what we have here is we have green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, each set. Um, again, let's highlight that. So you'd see that the top row here, the green, yellow, and red, correspond to the left. And then, of course, the green, yellow, red to the right will correspond to the right side. So these are the outputs that we'll be controlling in this program. And at this point, um, let's just review over here. Um, here we have the start, stop, and sub symbols, outputs, delays, decisions, then of course uh, um, connected lines. Here's where we're going to develop the program and utilizing these functions here on the left pane we'll be developing the program for this intersection light. So at this point I would pause the video and challenge the students to write the program and then we'll be back and we'll see how close they were able to get. Okay, so hopefully you had time to write the program and you've sampled it. What we're going to do is we're going to assemble the program here in the left. Um, and let's see how close you were to to write in the program. So we're going to start, of course, with the start symbol. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to begin by placing an output out here in our work area, and we're going to begin by turning on both of the reds stopping traffic in both directions. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a delay. In this case, we're just picking an arbitrary three second time delay. Otherwise, it might cycle a little too fast for you to uh, verify how your program's operating. Once so again, we're going to drag out an output, except this time we're going to select one side. So in this case, we're going to turn on the green and we're going to turn off the red that we began with. Once more, we're going to enter a delay of three seconds. Okay. All right. So after the first green and the first red is off, we're going to cycle down and we're going to turn the green off. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the yellow on. Now the street light will be cycling through. Um, let's put this down here. We'll keep it at three seconds. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> at this point, slide this out of the way here. So the green is off and the yellow is on. So after a three second delay, we are again going to turn the red back on but first we have to turn 
the yellow off and now we're going to put the red back on so what we've done successfully here is we've cycled through the one side of the intersection light and now we'll be moving on to the second side okay once again selecting the arbitrary three second delay okay now we're on the second side so what we're going to do is we're going to turn the green on and we're going to turn what was on off which was the red Once more, we'll enter a delay. And now we had the green on, so now we have to turn the green off. And we're going to cycle on the number two yellow. Once more, enter in a three second arbitrary delay. Let's slide this a little bit out of the way here. Keep this tight. Okay. So the green is off. The yellow is on. So the next thing is to turn the yellow off. Now the reason we only have but just a single command here is we're going to loop this program so that the program will jump from turning the second yellow off back to the first Directive here, turn one red on, turn the second red on as well. Both both of the reds begin at the at the very beginning of the program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this. And once we connect these, we can. And then finally, we're going to take this last function, bring it back to the very first. I'm going to pull the mimic over here. And so now what we can do is we can follow through with the time delays, the functions that are occurring in the simulation as well as the outputs corresponding over here in the right pane. So let's go ahead and hit play on that. So they both start at red. And then we're going to just cycle up the one side. And then we cycle the right side. So you can follow here. Both reds begin and end the program and you can see the time delays are actually the the time that each or well, the previous function is actually on so when you see the time when you see the delay what's actually happening is the function just prior to it is actually what's running at that time 